What's happening team? Welcome back to a new video. Now actually if you have just if you've watched my previous video you know that this is approximately about 30 seconds later. Oh I actually look like a tan you know still bold. Okay. 30 seconds and counting. No, didn't want that. Right, anyway, like I was saying, uh, yeah, this is, today is the 1st of June. So what I wanna do is I'm starting a eight week program for myself. Uh, the first time I'm ever gonna properly, properly program workouts, um, track lifts and track nutrition to down to a T. And the reason why, well, a couple of reasons I wanna do this. First of all, I'm currently, I currently have access to the gym and not a lot of others do, so I wanna take advantage of that. Secondly, I really want to progress my lifts. I am feeling kind of weak at the minute, and yeah, I want to see how much strength gains I can make in two week, in two weeks, in two months. Uh, thirdly, it will be good to sort of have a bit more structure to my training, have a bit more structure to my nutrition, and I want to use this to promote my online coaching. So I've just launched online coaching uh, sort of during the lockdown phase, and I'm going to implement exactly my coaching program to myself and uh, then go from there. So you'll see a little bit of an insight into my online coaching, uh, and if you've got any questions regarding that, you can always message me or um, yeah, ask anything. But without further ado, it's a long intro. Sit back, relax, enjoy the video. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna sort of upload these videos weekly and let you know my progress and sort of take you through it on weekly, or if I'm gonna save it for a whole eight week and do a lot of eight week transformation. Uh, what I'm gonna do, is obviously show you a bit about my coaching sheets. Uh, I'll show you a beginning sort of physique. I'm just going to take a weekly physique update, sort of like I would on on summer shredded, just front and back, relax shots, show you how I'm looking. Uh, my morning weight in this morning was 80.4, and that is our starting weight. And for the first time ever, I'm not going to actually try and drop weight. I'm sort of happy around here. Anywhere between 78 and 80 kilos is what I want to um, be around. But for me, it's not really weight. It's all about. Um, how I look, muscle definition, and also a bit about performance as well. So how I feel uh, cardiovascularly as well. So that's that's my got sort of goal for the next eight week. And I'm not going to be tracking my body fat. I'm not going to be tracking visceral fat for the first time ever. I'm just going to do it on how I look in the mirror and how I feel. And I, and I do preach that I feel like it's so easy to get hung up on numbers and body fat percentage and stuff like that. So it's going to be good to just uh, yeah, go off how I look so and how I feel, so that's the main thing. Right, let's give you a little bit of detail or in depth, or I'll show you a bit of insight into the online coaching. How I record and how I do my weekly check-ins is something called Screenomatic, um, and we're gonna flick to that now on the video and show you sort of how I would do a check-in and talk a little bit about this sheet. So guys, this is sort of how I would do a weekly check-in and this is how I track all my clients' progress. So this is a my um, nutritional and training tracker and they fill this out. I would set them calorie goals, training goals, or workout program. Uh, and these, these they, everyone fills this out uh, and I review it on a weekly basis and then we go from there. So this is what I'm gonna start filling out. So my weight, the date today is the 1st of the 6th. 2020 my weight this morning was 80.4 kg and then i'll do a weekly average what i will do here is i will fill out uh, my daily protein intake my daily fat intake my daily carbs and my total calories i'll make notes on my diet and my hunger i'll also make notes on my training and uh, sleep quality and then overall i would then do a weekly check-in with the client but I'm the client this time. So that is a little bit of an insight to how I'm gonna track everything this week and what I would do with an online client. Woo. So not only is the goal to improve strength, increase strength, like I talked about, condition is important. Uh, just did two and a half K, just over five minutes. I'd like to knock that down to an easy sub five and not feel as gassed as I do. Look at the size of that. Oh, it's like a biscuit. Right, first time trying the lean cookie. I'm not really impressed with the size. Oh no, not fantastic. That's chewy. That needs to be warmed up, I think. Oh, picked my worst time to probably go for a walk. Just got absolutely shafted by the rain. Um, right, let's have a little catch up then. So like I say, uh, over the last few days, I've been sort of testing strength numbers. Uh, and I'm gonna follow a, the same sort of set rep scheme for my heavy lifts. Uh, the lifts that I wanna progress over this time is 
squat, bench and deadlift. I want to improve my push press, uh, learn to snatch properly and learn to clean properly. So, oh, and front squat. So quite a few movements that I need to sort of work on and learn. Um, the sort of rep schemes that I'm going to work with sort of throughout the few weeks are throughout the eight weeks is going to be sort of three by six, three by three. Not really going to test one rep maxes, I don't think. I might do it. Um, you've got to bear in mind that I would have lost some strength through isolation and then so we should see, it, there should be an increase. But sort of the main goal for the next eight weeks is improve strengths, give myself a little bit of structure, improve my nutrition, but have a balanced nutrition of still being able to enjoy life, drink a little, uh, and just stay on point with all of that. So I'm really, really excited about how this eight weeks is gonna go. I did squats in the last video, which you saw three by three, if you watched the last video, it was one, two, five. Uh, I did bench and push press yesterday, hit three by six on bench on 87.5, and then a three by three on 80 kilo push press. Uh, but I failed the, sec the, the last rep on the last set, so not quite got that in the locker just yet. I've seen that I'm holding my arm up here, that's because my, arms, my shoulders are battered. Also, RIP my lower back deadlift on Monday, 130 for three sets of six, and Jesus, you know what deadlift on are like, oh my God, that's me today, so struggling. Uh, so that means tomorrow I'm gonna work on front squats, and then, uh, upper on Friday but yeah all, all good so far and like I say I want to just overlay some footage of my strength numbers so you can see what the sets look like. So how I'm going to make sure that I get stronger uh, during this eight week phase? Well first of all it's been a long time since we've done a block of strength training and not only that we've been on lockdown so we haven't had access to the heavy weight so uh, after a few weeks of muscle memory and stuff like that, our, our lifts should be improving. I'm fully expecting them to increase. Uh, what I'm interested to see is by how much. So, first of all, muscle memory, going back into the gym, lifting some heavy weights again. Second point is I'm gonna make sure that I'm progressively overloading these lifts. So like I said, I, I listed the exercises that I wanna improve on. Uh, so they're gonna be my main focus. They're gonna be the first exercise um, on each session. Uh, I'll take my time with that movement. Uh, I'm going to follow the same rep scheme, so like I said, three times six or three by three every week and just progressively overload. So whether that be control through the rep, whether that be uh, time under tension, whether that be increasing the weight, maybe that's increasing the reps. So they're the sort of four ways that we look at the set and go, right, was it better? Was it worse? What can I improve on? Thirdly, we're going to make sure our nutrition is on point. Like I say, I want to make sure that this is a, a balance and a lifestyle that I can sustain after this eight weeks, I'm just using this eight week block to challenge myself a little bit, keep myself dedicated, but I'll still be drinking alcohol when I want, I'll still be um, sort of having barbecues, whatever it may be, uh, but I'm gonna make sure my nutrition is on point and I'm gonna be fueling the workouts properly, uh, having the right pre-workouts, carbs, uh, making sure my nutrition is on point. And I'm really, really excited to see sort of how, where my strength can go back to. Like I say, I haven't strength trained for a very long time when I was on my men's physique prep, even though I got cut short, we weren't doing sort of any real strength training. We were focused on progressively overloading, but we didn't really dedicate any time to try and increase strength. So I'm excited to see where the strength can go, and hopefully this eight week block will be pretty cool, and then you can watch this and jump on board once the gym's back open. New in today, Chocoholic Duo Spread, 92% less sugar. We're looking at five gram serving, which I think is gonna be a lot on the small side. Two fats. 2.7 carb, less than 0 0.5 protein. But a lower calorie spread to have on my rice cakes tonight. Let's give it a try. Oh my God. Oh, it does smell good. Jesus. 20 grams, covered three rice cakes nicely. Good. Mmm. What does it taste like? A little bit like Nutella. Is it? Yeah, not bad at all. My turn. Go on then, Ross. So she's gone on pancakes, which looks way better than rice cakes. As in, mm. you've been having Nutella most days as well. That's really good. We did just say, though, this is actually only like 10, gram, uh, 10 calories less than Nutella. Mm. But, yeah, it's nice. Right, team, we're going to round up the video here right where we started. Uh, today is Friday. had a really, really solid week of training. Uh, hit, like I said, hit upper today. Hit some good numbers. Everything was going really, really well. That will actually be filmed in the next video because I filmed the whole workout uh, as well as I filmed all day for a different video. So stay tuned for that. Uh, weight's been coming off, actually, so I need to try and 
up my calories a little bit. Like I say, in this video and in this eight week phase, I want to maintain weight. Uh, I will be doing photos. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. And like I say, let's see what strength gains we can make over the next eight weeks. I'm excited. Hope you can jump on board with me and get involved as well. So make sure if you want to hit subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you in the next video.